Jeffrey Edelston's new companion, Gabby Greco, says she is in love with the flamboyant former doctor. The 24-year-old model and fashion designer from New York certainly turned heads when attending AFL great Tom Hafey's memorial service on Monday. But is there more to Greco than her eye-catching appearance? The similarities are remarkable. Bryn and Gabby have both perfected the art of attracting attention. I can definitely bring the whiff to whiff. Yeah, I understand, I understand. But 24-year-old Gabby is turning heads for the wrong reasons. She's been heavily criticised for the racy outfit she wore as Edelston's date to Tom Hafey's funeral. To have upset anyone in the family um, is really hurtful and I am very sorry if I have. My name is Gabby Greco. Gabby is a reality TV star, model, DJ and designer based in New York. She says she's smitten with Edelston, almost 50 years her senior, after only a few weeks of dating. He's probably one of the sweetest people I've ever met. So um, I'm so glad that I've met him and age difference, how far away he is, all of that, um, it, it doesn't matter. Jeffrey Edelston split from wife of four years Bryn in January, but he's not afraid to show he's already moved on. Gabby has taken to social media to make that clear too, posting photos on Instagram and tagging Bryn. You'll see a lot more of me, especially if you want to. <laughs> See, and Gabby Greco joins us from Melbourne. Good morning to you, Gabby. Thanks for being Hi, with good us. Good morning. Um, why, why have you chosen to so publicly speak about your uh, affection for Jeffrey? My affection for Jeffrey, why I've spoken so publicly about it, is because I, I guess it was brought, um, probably, uh, I would say my entrance into Australia wasn't wasn't uh, necessarily ideal, but. Sure. Um, uh, it was brought uh, publicly uh, by that fact, and uh, since then I've I've wanted to clear a few rumors and and kind of just um, express why I'm with Jeffrey, why I'm here, who I am, because a lot of questions did arise after mm. my my first. Uh, uh, Debut. Yes. Okay. Well, let's talk you know. about that, can't we? Because you caused a lot, a lot of anger and a lot of disappointment. Yeah. Um, it, you, you went to the memorial service for a very well-respected man. Um, I did. And, yes. And you, Tommy Hapey. you wore that outfit. Now, that do, do you think that's appropriate for a memorial service? I, I know you have apologised, um, but I'd just like to hear your thought process on this. Well, first of all, I hadn't worn the dress before, but I had brought it for maybe like a special occasion. If if me and uh, Jeffrey went to dinner or something and I had never really tried it on for fit and I, I actually haven't attended a funeral for a very very long time um, I would assume the dress is is proper it was the only black dress that I had and I was told very last minute that I was going to the funeral um, mm. but what happened is I, I put it on pretty quickly got ready pretty quickly and kind of realized when I was arriving, that the dress was a little too tight. Um, I think that the problem was um, the fit and not the dress. I think if it were um, tailored a little higher, a little, it would be a little more graceful. Um, it's extremely embarrassing, actually, because I I went to the funeral to to really to be there for Jeff to be there because he had lost a friend. He had told me so much about this person. And after this person's funeral, um, after Tommy Hafey's funeral, I I was very inspired. And I, I'm i really glad that I attended. And I am, ex excuse me, extremely ashamed and, and sorry if I caused any, uh, any trouble or any, I, Oh, look, we're pretty good at forgiving and forgetting. I think, uh, you know, you can move on from that one. Thank you. Don't, don't you. have to wear that one forever. I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of, like, uh, you know, a lot of grief <laughs> a lot for, of it. for it. A lot of hate for it. You know, you live and, and learn. I've, yeah. um, <laughs> publicly thanks 
I'm very sorry. Oh, yeah. well, okay. Good on you. Apologies, now, listen, yeah. you're here to talk about, you, you know, your, your love for Jeffrey. Um, um, how, how did the two of you meet and how has this relationship blossomed so quickly? Well, we met because uh, we work both closely in the music industry and I think it was somewhere, uh, not the Lincoln Center, but the Columbus Circle. Um, I was kind of around there and it's close to the Lincoln Center, which is a place where they have music mm -hmm. venues as well. Um, and I'm a DJ, so um, I noticed, I don't know who spo sparked the conversation. I, I think I think we both make eye, con eye contact and, and I said something about what he was wearing. He was wearing like something extremely bedazzled and and uh, right. he had like a <laughs> Swarovski tie and, and, and just like uh, I loved his fashion style and I love that he was so expressive and so you know unique and it's it's really hard to find people who are not afraid to be themselves mm. it just happened to be someone that's way older than me but what am I gonna do mm, love I, is love I, um, there's so much controversy about this and this and this but I I'm a very honest person and I could not be with someone that I could not stand yeah. or didn't really like for the rest of my life mm. uh, just oh, wow. for money well, I'm sorry I'd well. make it some other way okay. that's a good well, foundation because yeah. Jeffrey's a famously very honest person Gabby um, you are being called Bryn 2.0 there are similarities between you and I mean obviously you're a redhead at the moment but um, how do you feel about being compared to Bryn um, I don't think I look anything like her. I, um, we have different colored eyes, different figure. I have a totally different style than she does. I think, um, I think, I don't know if I, what I want to say. I don't want to say, I just think that maybe she's a, a little obvious and a little, um, her style is just kind of, um, purposely out there and not strategically f fashionable. No, um, it's yeah, just kind of right. like crazy yeah. and a little tacky. Oh, well, you, you, you and Jeffrey might write a, a, a book on that. And Strategic yeah. fashion. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I worked, I, I've worked in the garment district for like three years uh, with my ex, okay. Kevin John. Okay. Mm. Uh, so I, I'm very. Me and fashion, I guess I'm just a little biased. All right. Sure. You know, Listen, so Gabby, I'm, I'm we sorry. got a zip, but, um, but thank you for your time this morning. Thank you for no uh, problem. the apology. I'm sure there's many people out there who appreciate that. And uh, it was lovely to meet you. Yeah, lovely, All the best. Lovely to speak to you. Thank mm. you very much for having me. Right, Live yeah. long and prosper. Yes. You say you got a zip. You turned into Kevin Rudd. Yeah, I got a zip. Good on you.